Hello again folks, Jimmy here, uh, pleased to see you again. So me and the wee man have came out for some father son time today. Uh, he's currently off looking for some sticks for our fire, uh, but let's have a wee look at the Shelton thing so far and our prep for the fire before we start it. Hi folks, right so this is uh, our shelter, this is uh, the DD 3x3 tarp that we brought down with us. Uh, you can see we've set that up there, diamond configuration creates a nice uh, open shelter in there as well and I believe that to be an effective use of the tarp for using my fire, although the fire's not terribly close today, we're giving it a wee bit of space. Um, so let's look at the prep for the fire area. Found a wee bit of corrugated iron that I'm using as a very crude uh, backstop or windbreak heat reflector, whatever you want to call it. Some wood prepared, ready. We're going to go with the whole flint and steel method again today. Uh, me and the wee man will do that. Hopefully we'll get that on video for you guys. Catch you in a minute. That was a bit sun, eh? Very big, but some of the kind of big bus. So there. Do you want to tell everybody what we just used to light that there? Yeah. Tell everybody then. Um, nice and glass and then we put in a bit of chocolate then lighted the chocolate up and then put it in the fire and then blow and then put in food to stick. Cheers to both. on YouTube, is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. Just you mind and be careful, all right? Let's chuck it on. Yeah, be careful, Ben. I'm being careful. And that's the Billy can on now, heating up our lunch. Lewis is away to explore some more. 
So aye, let's have a wee look. It's the shelter, folks. Ah, it's come for a wee seat. As you can see, the fire's uh, quite a distance away. This was winter time. Yeah, and could probably bring a wee fire, maybe to about there. But uh, aye, it should be kept very small because this isn't a canvas tarp. But it's a good tarp nonetheless. I mean, you can see the the reinforced points there. Reinforced patch. The reinforced patch allowing you to do things like that just to prop it up a wee bit. Got loads of space at the back, so no doubt, again, you could sleep two people in here quite comfortably if you needed to. There's a wee man. See him? I am going to get back to just enjoying some time out with the laddie. Uh, and I'll check him with again shortly, alright folks? Ever used a gorilla pod like I'm using now? Be wary. Look what's happened. The bloody leg keeps falling off, which is no good. Uh, so I think I'm going to have to get a new tripod because this shin is mince. So, any recommendations, folks? Give me a shout, let me know. Right folks, time for me and the wee man to make tracks, get home to our uh, Sunday dinner, left the place looking alright, cleaned up some mess, uh, we've got to get down the road now, thanks for joining us and all the best, take care folks, bye bye. This is possibly one of the coolest shelters I've found. Absolutely awesome. And it's tucked away up on a cliff. And up there, looks like well, there's maybe wee rabbits or something. A bigger hole in there. Somebody's had a fire there at some point. The wee man's doing there. 